Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Total Insanity. I don't remember what we were doing last time. But yeah, I have a lot of bottles of enchanting. As you guys can tell, I did a lot of stuff off screen. No! Aw, oh, come on. Why won't you let me? Why won't you let me fly now? Come on. Come on. It's not letting me fly for some reason now. It's weird. Let's see if I change into a lizard. Um. Hmm. Yeah, as you guys can tell. Oh, bad. And I should be able to fly. For some reason, it's not letting me. I don't know. I was doing it a second ago. I don't know why it's not letting me know. But, uh, as you guys can tell, I've grown two experience trees. Made some experience orb catchers. Let's teleport. Oops, wrong button. Let's teleport back to the blacksmith. As you guys can tell, got some anvil set up. Got an advanced enchanting table set up. As you can tell, I've enchanted some of my stuff, put some new enchantments on it. A crap load of bottles of enchanting from those trees, and I've got a little alchemy place set up. I have some of these, which are the advanced ones, but I don't really know how to use them. I also made a lot of uh, diamond chests, in which, you know, I can do because I have a freaking shitload of freaking diamonds and gold and just you know they do what I do uh, let's teleport back to the tree yeah I didn't have enough really to do these ones out here plus I haven't really started using those yet so I just did the ones in here I don't even have in my regular house but as you guys can tell I've got it much more organized now gems and materials I got lots of stuff Lots and lots of stuff. I need to smelt that. My popcorn's done cooking, so that's good. Let me just throw it on the ground. Oops. Let me just put that in there. Put that in there, put that in there. Wrong chest. Let me... Let's cook the titanium first. Smelt that. Yeah, guys, I had to make these. I was completely out of room for all my miscellaneous stuff. They have spawn eggs. Found some good ones. I found a wither boss. Um, what else did I find? Found yeah, the wither boss is really the only one I'm excited for. So let's let's use this coin real quick. I'll just spawn this out here. We have magical coin. Maybe I should keep this here. Have my own little coin just floating around. Nah. Oh, I can push it. That's cool. Die coin. An emerald sword. Awesome. Yeah. I have. Despite having all of those experience trees, I am low on level. Because, uh. I've used it and I've unlocked all the shit in my fam guide. So, yeah, I'm not very high level right now. I did a lot of stuff off screen, guys. Like, I went mining a lot, got coal to fill all of these. Alright, give me those titanium nuggets. Wrong chest. This is gonna take a little getting used to. But, I mean, adamantium, which I'm excited about. Found some of that. And this is used to make Wolverine's uh, claws and Captain America's shield. So, yeah, definitely excited to maybe make some of that stuff. As you guys can tell, I got lots and lots of stuff. Don't really, I saw another titanium ore. Crap, what did I just do? Crap, I accidentally control clicked. Control clicking gives you a full stack. 
I've done that a few times by accident, guys. I apologize. Um, so if I ever do that and I catch myself, I'll get rid of the excess. If I don't catch it, then leave a comment or something. Let me know that it happened. Come on. Come here, Cole. Alright. You come here. You go in there. You go in there. I also made quite a few torches because I ran out while I was mining. So, yeah, I made lots and lots of torches. Still don't know what to do with that. Um, yeah, I wonder how many eyes of Ender do we have? Four. Damn, I need nine to make um, Eye of Ender block. <sighs> that. I'm saving. I've noticed the gold swords, while they're complete uh, shit, have some really high enchantments on them. Like, if we look at my ultimate sword, it only has fire aspect 2 on it. So when I get, like, uh, one of the better swords, so let's look at, um, say, Big Bertha. We look at this. It has fire aspect one on it, which is pretty good, but I mean, the enchantments aren't that great. Well, I'm going to try to find a way, see if there's a way that I can get the enchantments on it from there, the slice. Alright, let's look at slice. Is it just slice? Okay. Slice, same thing, it's just bigger and different royal okay so the royal guardian is not something you can just find lurking terror, lurking terror, lurking terror, lurking terror. okay so what about prince huh I wonder if I even have that stuff in hmm, I really hope I do because I do want to fight the king eventually if not I'll update it I mean, oh, it's experience tree time. So I'm going to show you guys what the experience tree is all about. For those of you who don't know, at night time and night time only, this happens. And what this stuff does is just that. Throws experience on the ground and throws bottles of enchanting on the ground. Now, some of the bottles of enchanting break, some of them don't. There's also stuff up in the trees so that you can get. Because obviously, like, as you can see, there's some experience up there. Not all of it's going to fall on the ground. There's a bottle of enchanting right there. It just... Come on. Uh, let me see if I can transform into a bat and get it. I really want my bat form to work. But it doesn't want to for some reason. It was doing just fine a second ago. I I was flying around getting all the stuff from up there. Let's um Hmm. What do I do about that? Maybe I should turn magnet mode on. Drag it to me. There we go. I'm gonna turn it off till it's completely done, otherwise it'll cause a bunch of bottle of enchantings to fly around me, like the ones that are trying to fall on the ground and break that you can't pick up. And it just gets to be kind of uh, overwhelming. Oh, come here, experience. But as you guys can tell, this is great experience. This is just off one tree alone right now. I haven't even gone over the second one yet. So it's a journey over there. As you can tell, there is experience on the ground over here as well. Now, since this is only something to do at nighttime, it's a good idea to, you know run around during the day and get stuff and at night instead of sleeping come here and get all the experience and stuff I mean if you don't have one of these then go to bed I mean obviously if you don't have one it's not going to affect you in any way now the crafting recipe is actually very very inexpensive the easiest way to get one of these is to make an experience orb catcher 
And I'll demonstrate what those do later, if I remember. Basically what it is, is you point it at the shadow of an experience orb and use it by right clicking. And if you do it right, then you have a good chance for it to spawn like Bottle of Enchantings. And the recipe for a seed is a Bottle of Enchantings and an Apple Seed. So it's very, very easy to get. And once you get your first one, it's very easy to get more. Like you guys saw how many Bottle of Enchanting I had. I had over a stack. So that's enough for eight more minimum. And with that many experience trees, I could just rake in the experience. I'm probably only going to put up two more. So there's like a north, a south, east, and a west, you know. But I may also set one up outside my house in the overworld. I'm not sure about that yet. A lot of stuff can go wrong in the overworld. Whereas this place is really, really calm. Like, as you guys can see, no hostile mobs spawn. The only hostile mob that can spawn is the king. And it doesn't really look like I have him yet. Or maybe I just... I don't know. Maybe I'm just at the wrong um, goddess tree. It's very, very possible. The experienced trees uh, saplings are not affected by bone meal. So you can't just plop a seed down, it becomes a sapling, and then you can just grow it. You actually have to wait for them to grow. It usually takes a couple nights, so it's not that bad of a wait. But if you don't like waiting, obviously you can just go do stuff while you wait for it to grow. But these things are definitely worth it. I mean, if you've got the bottles of enchanting and an apple... Don't eat the apple. Don't worry about anything. Because with the rest of the... You use an apple and turn it into a seed. You get 16 seeds. So you could save, say, four of those for experience trees. And then... Um, the other ones... You plant the apple tree seeds. They instantly become apple trees. And they drop apples, golden apples, enchanted golden apples. I mean, it is absolutely worth it because that's what these are. These are apple trees. Now, I don't know the rate at which they drop, but as you guys can tell, I've got an apple here. It's about it for right now. I think when you first spawn them in is when they drop the most because when I first spawned mine and they were dropping apples like crazy. So, alright, give me that. Thank you. So you guys can tell, I've already got 11 bottles of enchanting, and I haven't even gotten up in the trees yet. Turn magnet mode on. So probably by the end of the night, I'd say you can get around, I don't know, probably an average of 10 per tree. I know last night I got 56 bottles of enchanting. It was absolutely ridiculous ridiculous how many I got I mean I don't even think I can't even think of a use for all those bottles of enchanting except to make more trees because it's not like I really need it for enchanting tables which I might in the future I don't know if I ever want to give my girlfriends anything um <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm tired. Speaking of girlfriends, I don't know if you guys know this because I lost one of them on screen. I lost another off screen, so I only have one. I don't know how I lost her off screen. I made my girl some ruby swords and enchanted them very nicely. So how she died, I have no idea whatsoever. It sucks. I'll probably get more because the girlfriends are very very useful if you're playing by yourself or if you're playing with someone else I highly recommend getting a girlfriend at least while you're at these lower stages because they are absolutely ferocious guys 
the, especially when you're a lower level, don't worry about getting a sword for yourself. Give her a sword. So, like, say you have enough iron to make an iron sword and you want to be a badass. Give it to your girlfriend and make yourself, like, a stone sword. Because what that'll allow you to do is she'll be stronger. She'll be able to kill shit quicker. And that will allow you to focus more on other things like mining or building or anything else. Alright, so... It's the end of the night. It's not going to drop anymore. I'm going to pause the recording and see if I can fly around. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. As you can tell, I'm flying around now. I don't know what the problem is, why I can't um, activate the fly when it's recording. But, yeah. As you guys can tell, I was flying. Let's see if it'll... Oh, there it goes. Now it's wanting to activate. Maybe I could only fly during the day. Why would that be a thing, though? Bats are nighttime creatures. I don't know. Oh, it disappeared. Or did it just move? I don't know. Nope. Get back here, you. I don't think I could pick that one up. Yeah, some of them you can see, but you can't pick up. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's probably just ones that were supposed to fall down and break, but didn't. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I am racking up the bottles of enchanting right now. Just absolutely gaining a lot of them. I mean, we had probably less than... Or I think we had less than 20 before I came up here. I mean, you guys can obviously tell. It'll be right before I start recording is how much I had before this. And now we've gotten over 30... And we haven't even gotten them all yet. So, I mean, there's one. Here's one. There's some over here. But yeah, as you guys can tell, this is great for getting lots of experience. Getting lots of bottles of enchanting. It's great for those of you who enchant a lot or use the fam guide a lot. Because, like I said, I have all the things now. As far as familiars go. And at this rate, if I ever use my 1-up. Which I most likely will during, like, boss fights and stuff. I will easily be able to replace it. 15 levels is nothing. I can easily get that in a night. And you guys can too, for something as simple as just a few bottles of enchanting and an apple seed. This is, in my opinion, definitely a bit overpowered. But for something that you would have to be patient about. I mean, it's not just something that grants you the experience when and where you want it. You have to wait for nighttime. You have to be here to collect it yourself. So, that aspect of it. <clears throat> makes it less overpowered, but it's still pretty overpowered. You guys can tell I'm level 42, and I was like level maybe 10 when the night started. And I've got 53 bottles of enchanting. So if we were to use like, come on, fall down. Say, let's use 13 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that only got me up about not even a level but at a lower level that would definitely get you up quite a bit so let's put these away so I continue to fly higher so yeah had I not used those 13 we would have over two stacks when did that get there now I can't fly I don't know, guys. This is... F the... Flying in this game is a little weird. Got another emerald sword. I'm going to switch back to me now. I don't know what the conditions are to fly in this game. Obviously, they're a little bit wonky. Obviously, we've been here for quite some time just explaining this. Uh, back to the Tree of Epic Propulsions. Yeah, my ender chest. I've got full enchanted diamond armor. I've got these, 
Got an ultimate sword, ultimate shovel, ultimate axe, emerald pickaxe, diamond sword. I could probably put some other stuff on these. I think I might. Because that sounds like something that would be good to do. But, I don't know. I am starving. In real life and in this game. Oh, so let's eat some steak. Food's definitely not a problem for me, as you guys can tell. I have a lot of food. So there's that. Oops. That goes there. Give me that iron. Let's put the gold in there. And put the coal in there. So let's deposit the iron, the mantium, the titanium. Alright, give me the titanium, give me the uranium, give me the gold. Alright, so let's turn these into actual ingots. Sucks that it takes nine nuggets to make an ingot, but whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. Awesome. Alright, put those up. Yeah, even though my house is made of this kind of stuff. Why are there two? Oh, yeah, because there's the, um,. Or spawn, and then, like, the superheroes have different types of titanium. It's a little weird, but it's alright. It's alright, mate. Gold. And gold would be get best for golden blocks. So I can make the enchanted golden apples. As you guys can tell, yeah, I have a lot of food. Where are my peaches? Here they are. A chunk. Let's get two of these. Alright, I'm gonna plant some peach trees now. Just real quick. Let's put that away. Let's put this emerald sword away. Yeah, so the em the ruby swords actually have like a base of plus 15 damage. So let's just drop down missed the water. Oh well. Let's plant these peach pits. And there we go. Now we have some peach trees down here. So as you guys can tell, I have quite a bit of food stuffs. If I ever need food, I can easily plant stuff. I'm going to make a farm eventually. Probably do that off screen. I don't know why I'm even climbing. Alright, waypoints, tree of epic proportions, and let's go back to the overworld. Alright. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Alright, let's go home. And now we are home, it is daytime. My girlfriend rushes to see me. I killed a lot of stink bugs off screen. Got some kraken repellents. That way, if I ever spawn the kraken, he won't come over here and start trying to destroy my house. Also, I feel like if I do ever get to spawn the kraken, that'll help. Maybe I'll be able to use my bow on it from a. F what the fuck? Um, okay, I have no idea what the hell that was. Yay, got a new hat. That was weird. What the hell was that? I know that wasn't the Kraken. Maybe that was just the squid's hat. Okay, so we're going to swim all the way over here. Because we're going to go to the spawn arenas. I don't really remember what it is. I just remember it's going to be epic. Those are regular squids. Wow, there's a lot of squids down here. 
Good old apple and some fish. Oh, there's an attack squid. And it's dead. We have not spawned the Kraken. Don't know whether that's good or bad. I really do want to spawn the Kraken. Because I need its tooth. Yeah, I have to be careful when I kill the attack squids because they can spawn in the Kraken. And if you're not careful, and if you're very unlucky, you can kill a group of them trying to spawn one in. And it can spawn multiple, which is probably what happened to me that one time. That I had all that lag was I had spawned more than one in. And y'all, y'all remember how laggy that was. Have y'all even seen that? Yeah, you have. Sorry, guys. I'm a bit, I guess, off with what you guys have seen and what you haven't for some reason. Simply because I have so many parts recorded right now. This is like, um, I think this is film 68, maybe 69, and I've only, I think the last one I uploaded was 57, maybe, I think it was 57, so yeah, there's a lot of parts to come, guys, I know by the time you guys see this, it's not going to matter, because they'll already be up, but, really hope you guys are enjoying the series, I'm really, really, I know I've said this before, but this is been so far my I have had a lot of fun with this series much more so than the other ones girlfriend get out of there you don't belong in there uh, unfortunately this is a lot of water don't know why I can see that when I'm not when I'm underwater but not so much above, probably because of how dark it is. Uh, uh, swimming swimmer. Alright guys, I'm going to pause it and just resume when I get there. Or something interesting happens. Okay guys, well this is... I don't remember exactly what this is. Oh look, another floating castle. But I'm going to find a way to get up there. I mean... Let's see... Actually, I have a better idea. Let me do this. Transform into me. Let's open the fam guide. Come on. Okay, whatever. Next, 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 next. Alright. Quip. Escape. And up we go. Problem solved. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna switch to the ultimate pickaxe now. R. Come on. Ow, that, that hurt. Okay, I'm gonna need to switch to... Oops, wrong button. I'm gonna need to switch to... Is it the fairy? Yeah, so let's equip the fairy. So I don't take fall damage from this. We ever so calmly. Hello, fairy. Even more experience. And we're floating down. Let me kill you real quick. And dead. Got lots of string. And what is in here? Ooh, thorns three. Holy shit. String. Pretty sure I already have these, but I'll grab one of each. What does my armor have on it? Thorns 3. Th thorns 3. Ooh, so that'll... That's nice. Anything underneath this chest? Yes, no, maybe so. No. Okay. So... Let's switch back to, let's actually 
Switch to the spider jockey so it attacks as well. There's my little spider jockey. Alright, up we go. Ah, some of these familiars are very, 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 very useful. I absolutely love them. Wow, this is really freaking tall. Alright. What the hell? Alright. This is a thing. Holy crap, they're climbing. Holy crap, they're climbing. Holy crap. This is the second time this has happened to me. I had this happen to me when I was checking out that obsidian um, island thing. And they were just like standing there like on top of each other. Got the troll mask. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? Have I killed them all yet? I hope so. Wow, this is a lot of experience. Holy shit. Let's switch to the squid. Squid. Holy crap, this is a lot of experience, guys. It's a hot air balloon that's halfway in the water. That squid's kind of freaking me out. And just look at it, guys. It is a raining experience. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's not really a raining experience because it's all down here on the ground, but y'all know what I mean. <sighs> wow, this was a pleasant surprise. I'll never complain about experience. Still not sure how to uh, turn keep inventory on. Like, I think I have it on, but I'm not sure. I haven't died since. So I have no I have no way to tell for sure. All right. There's my floating castle. There's another floating castle. And there's this. So we're gonna switch back into the spider jockey, I guess. All right. We're going to conquer this, and I'm going to end the video. Alright. So this looks very, very tall. Let me just look at this, guys. Holy shit, this is tall. Is there any... Okay, yeah, there are actual doors in here. But, we'll get there. What's up, bitch? Rare spider! Die. Ow. Ow. Okay. Nothing worthwhile. Apparently that was a mob in front of me. Torches, I'll take those. Up we go. That... Holy crap. That was an actual spider jockey. Spider jockey that had freaking diamond arrows. Wow, that was unexpected. Why do all y'all have diamond arrows? Is this like the spider jockey place? Is it because my spider jockey's here? Oh shit, what's up, bitches? 
Y'all can't handle this spider jockey. Food. Oh my gosh. Get over here to this corner. Alright. Saplings and wheat. Don't really care. Wow, I almost walked into that hole. You have emerald. So you die first. And you die. And you die. Sign. Don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Alright, continuing forward. That's done. Raw fish, leather, and gunpowder. Alright, onwards we go. I guess it's too bright in here for them to spawn now. Don't need those. Um, I'm definitely getting better with these controls, guys. Spider. Cave spider. Three diamond blocks. Some redstone lamps. Where is he? Whatever, I'll just take your shit then. You know what, guys? I feel like this isn't fair. We're going to oops the daisies. This isn't fair. We need. We have to fight one. Four. And it's only fair if we fight one. All right, girlfriend, let's go, Geronimo. And now it shall fall, girlfriend. Where are you? Where's my girlfriend? Girlfriend, where are you? Where the hell is she? What are those? Are those attack squids? Hell yeah. Is that it? Yep. I hope she didn't just die. She did. I'm gonna be up oh, there she is. I guess she just decided to take her time. There's a pirate ship there. It's like half broken, but you know, doesn't even have sails. We'll hit it up. We'll hit it up as soon as I eat the steak. So, next time, guys, we will hit up that pirate ship. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.